Hi beautiful souls, welcome back to Tame Mystical Mermaid Light. Today I am super excited to share with you a gift that I received today in the mail from Rose Forever New York. Rose Forever New York is a brand that was launched in 2019. They design luxurious vegan rose boxes with natural roses that last for a year, you guys. These roses are allergen free. They are amazing and they smell delicious, okay? They are a beautiful touch. So if you guys are looking for a birthday gift, if you guys are looking for a gift to give yourself, a loved one, a friend, if you're wanting to spoil yourself or just bring some good vibes, some beautiful energy into your space, I would definitely recommend you guys checking out Rose Forever New York. I have a link down in my bio if you guys would like to use a discount code so that you can have some beautiful roses in your space or if you want to gift these to someone that you love. This would be a beautiful, a beautiful gift. I love you guys. Have a good one. Hi beautiful souls and welcome back to Tame Mystical Mermaid Light. This is going to be a pick a card reading on what blessings are coming your way. Today we have two options, option one and option two. We also have these beautiful Rose Forever New York roses that I have on the table just to bring in more love, bring in some high vibes. They are gorgeous and they smell so good, you guys. I'm happy to share this with you. If you guys are wanting to look into getting yourself some Rose Forever New York roses or getting some roses for your family or friends, use the link below in my description box. There's also a discount code if you are interested in purchasing some for yourself or for someone you love, which will be a beautiful gift, by the way. Um, anyways, you guys. So two options, okay, we're gonna keep it simple today. Two options, follow your heart, meditate, take some time to really tune in, to tap in, to breathe, take some time to pray. We're gonna start this reading off with a prayer, okay? So let's get started. Option one, option two. Option one, I hope you guys are doing well. We're gonna start this off with a prayer. Dear God, dear Holy Spirit, please help me to be a clear channel for the most purest holy love and light. Help me to give clear, accurate advice, guidance, messages to all beautiful souls who chose option one. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. You guys, I just heard divine timing. And then I heard timing at its best. So divine timing at its best. Something is going to happen. I just heard spur of the moment. Something's going to take place for you guys. Out of nowhere. Okay. Yeah. Destiny. Destiny. You have the Wheel of Fortune here. You have 52. I think this is pronounced Ningyo. Astral light and an image of the world and oneness integrates the two, them and you. Okay. So, let's see what else we can get for you guys. Because, you know, I like to dig. <laughs> let's see what's going on. Okay, so we have the Wheel of Fortune. We have divine timing at its best. Oh, wow. Wow, you guys have the sun card. Oh my, oh my, oh my. Okay, so we have the Five of Swords. Let's see what else is going on. I'm hearing healing. Something good happening for you out of nowhere. Yep, silver lining. Your silver lining is coming. It's here. No more rain, right? Okay, so the sun is coming up. You know how they say after the rain, there's a rainbow. It's, it's giving me that vibe. What was this card that wants to come out? The Eight of Swords in your head. So you may find out that a lot of what you were thinking was going to take place or happen was in your head. It could be fear-based energies that you were entertaining. Yeah, with the Seven of Flutes. This is the Edit card, right? And you notice how this, the scissors are cutting this ribbon. It's like you're cutting, you're cutting these fears. Like you're cutting the ties. You're cutting the cords to fear. You guys are realizing that a lot of this was in your head. So a lot of you could have been doing a lot of overthinking. You could have been afraid that um, whatever happened in the past was going to re repeat itself is what I'm hearing. But you're going to find out that it's not. There is something that's going to work out in your favor. It's going to benefit you big time. The sun is here, you guys. The sun is here. You're moving out of the storm. 
and into the sunny weather. I'm hearing into the warmth, into comfort, into peace, into joy. I'm hearing relaxation, surrender. Okay, more like serenity is what they just said. More like serenity. Yeah, it was all in your head, you guys. It was all in your head. So a lot of you need to know, get out of your head and into your heart. I'm strongly getting that. Get out of your head and into your heart. Let's see what else we can get. Yeah, you guys are needing to release certain ways of thinking. So the blessings that are coming your way is that you're going to realize, you know what? Because look at how these look like thought bubbles, right? And you know how the hamster is always on its wheel? It's making me think like, okay, I've been overthinking about all of this. To the point where I'm staying up all night just overthinking. And I just need to let this go. So I see you guys releasing stress, releasing worry, and paying attention to your thoughts. I see you guys being very self, very much self-aware about your about your mind, your mental health, and your emotional well-being, and you're going to be paying attention to the fact that you know what, these are negative thoughts. These are thoughts that don't, they don't benefit me. These are worries that don't benefit me, and I'm overthinking. Some of you guys could be perfectionists, is what I'm hearing, and some of you guys are just overdoing it. And you're going to come to the real realization that you know what, this isn't for me. This is not. This is not my energy. You know, like this is this isn't who I want to be. And you're going to, it's like a breaking point. And you're going to decide, you know what? Surrender. Whatever you can't control, you guys are going to be like, I give it over to the divine source, God, universe. <laughs> you guys are going to be like, you know what? Mm -mm. I'm not, I'm not carrying the weight anymore. I'm hearing, I'm not carrying the weight anymore. I'm not carrying the responsibilities anymore. I'm not carrying any burdens. I'm not carrying any more sadness. I'm not carrying any more grief. I release it, I let go of it, I surrender. As you guys are going into such a strong state of surrender, it's like you're you're sick and tired of being sick and tired. You're deciding I want more joy, more joy in my life. I want more happiness. I want to be fun and happy and peaceful. I'm hearing that. Like you just you want to live your life with more ease and more grace. So I see you guys doing just that because you affirmed it. You set the intention that that's what you wanted and now it's it's on its way. You see, we can't wait for happiness. You have to create your own happiness. And success doesn't bring happiness, you know. And then ask yourself, what is your def what's your definition of success? Is your definition of success being rich? Because being rich doesn't, doesn't mean that you're going to be happy. You know, you may have a lot of something, but that doesn't mean that you're going to be happy. You could be abundant, but that doesn't mean you're going to be happy. So ask yourself what is success and what is true happiness to you because you can create your own joy and happiness even through the storm even in the midst of the storm you can be the sun you know so i see you guys realizing this so you know what i am the source of my own happiness i am the source of my own joy nothing's going to get in the way of my sunshine nothing's going to get away get in the way of my light yeah um, I'm getting that part from Janae Aiko's um, song, Speak, where she says, look at how the sun is shining. Um, I forgot what exactly she says, but I'm trying to get the lyrics, you guys. Hold on. So excited. Something she says, so excited. Realize that you weren't here to judge me. No one to impress something, and I decided that I liked it. Something about the sun shines without, you know, permission, basically. Like, you just shine. Just be you. Go listen to that song, you guys. Okay, what blessings are coming to option one, Holy Spirit? What blessings? Purity. Purity of heart. Flexibility. These two flew out together. So you have this tiger here. You have this wolf here. Pure, pure heart and flexibility adaptable this is surrender to me the reason why is because you're allowing destiny to play you're allowing you're in a state of allowance that's what they just said you're in a state of allowance you're in a state of receptivity you're allowing destiny to take control like the, the divine fate you're like you know what it is what it is what whatever is going to happen is going to happen what's meant for me will be meant for me what's not meant for me will miss me you know it's what's meant to be will be. 
And it's as simple as that sometimes. I see you guys clearing your mind. It's like I'm... Some of you may actually be um, doing Reiki healing or maybe some of you guys are seeing a therapist. I just feel that you guys are clearing your mind. Maybe it's through journaling that this can help. But I feel that you guys are coming to a state of surrender, receptivity and allowance, and just being, a state of being. Illumination. Your path will be lit up along the way that's what i just heard lit up along the way because they're showing me um kind of like in the music video billy jean michael jackson you know as he walks the path kind of lights up it's showing me that it's like all of a sudden because you surrendered you're in a state of allowance because of this because you were self-aware and you chose to be in the state of allowance and surrender your path is just going to light up one step at a time and that's the key one step at a time so there's a lot of beautiful things that are going to be coming your way because you've entered this new state of being. Yeah, they said it's actually a, a, a totally new state of being. One that requires maturity to realize that we don't truly have control over everything. What do we have here? Sacrifice, passion flower. Okay. Sacrifice, passion flower. You guys are going to pay attention to, okay, what sacrifices are worth being made? And I'm hearing cutting the cords, cutting those ties. Remember, you had the edit card, cutting the ties to fear. You know what? The past. I'm releasing the past. That's what I'm hearing. You know what? I'm releasing the past. It no longer serves me. And I can't live life thinking that what happened to me in the past is going to happen again. So I just see you guys really, just really maturing Yes, rebirth. I'm telling you, this is a it's growth. We have the daffodil here. This is growth for you guys. It's it's beautiful. It's extremely beautiful. Transformation. Yeah, and as I said that, there is a bell on my computer. So huge transformation, huge shifts. What's at the bottom? We have poppy, sleep. You guys are resting knowing that you're taken care of. You're divinely taken care of. There's a, a, a inner peace. It's a different type of rest, you guys. It's a different type of rest. And I'm pretty sure a lot of you understand what I mean by this. You know, sometimes you can go to sleep and still feel tired, right? When you wake up, you still feel like, oh, I need more rest. Or you wake up and your mind is already on the, its hamster wheel. And it's just going on and on and on about things you need to do or things you didn't do. This type of rest that I'm getting for you guys is a type where you wake up and you smile. Because you just feel so at peace, so comfortable, so joyful. I'm even hearing gratitude. You feel a sense of ease, like a weight has been lifted off of you. That is a huge blessing. It's like, you know what? I've surrendered this. Like, I'm in such a place of serenity and peace that I just feel light. I feel light at heart. I feel lightweight. I just feel that I can... It's almost like you feel like you could just float. You feel so comfortable and at peace. It's like a nice day, like a nice spring day. And the sun is shining. The birds are chirping. You hear chimes in the background. And it just feels so peaceful. Because in that moment, it's just, it's simple. It's it's a simple moment, but it's it's everything. And that's a blessing because it represents peace. And peace is a huge blessing, you guys. Yeah, and they, they're showing me the music video again, that Speak um, music video. And they're also playing um, Don't Worry About a Thing because every little thing is going to be all right. Yeah, is that Bob Marley, you guys? I feel that you, I'm telling you, it's such a beautiful state of surrender. They're showing me a white butterfly kind of floating around. You guys are going to feel like a butterfly in the sense that the way they just kind of flutter. And as I'm saying that, it's... 1 11 a.m you guys 1 11 a.m 1 1 1 i'm telling you this new beginning this is a rebirth for you it's a new beginning it's like a white butterfly just kind of fluttering around it's just it's it's jovial it's peaceful it's happy it's innocent 
and you guys are going to come into the state of being when you do this it's like I, i'm telling you guys things are going to start to line up slowly but surely so it's also going to require you to have patience let's see what else is coming through for you guys oh, blessings rose quartz open up your heart wow open up your heart speak from the heart sing from the heart everything you do do it with a pure heart pure heart i keep saying that in my readings make sure your heart is pure make sure your intentions are pure rose quartz and we have these beautiful roses right so using roses to heal okay using rose quartz pink tourmaline I'm actually working with ro um, red roses, pink roses in your space on your altar could help you guys, okay? As well as jade and emerald is what I'm hearing can help you guys as well with your heart chakra. Look, we have malachite here. It's time to transform. This is beautiful because we have the rebirth card here. So we have this pink and green energy which connect beautifully with the heart chakra as well as the, this rose energy. So you guys, like I said, you may feel called to work with like rose essential oils. Of course, um, a very good good quality essential oil would be very helpful for you guys. Sensory is key. Positive uplifting music, high frequency music, a nice space, roses, um, rose quartz, jade, emerald, malachite, and it's wild because I mentioned Janae Aieko, that song that keeps coming through. But she also wore this grass. Oh, why did I say grass? Wow. She also wore this green dress. <laughs> she also wore this green dress that looked like them. The pattern was like in the, the same pattern as Malachite. And um, that's kind of coming through. So, And if you think about her music, it has a lot to do with healing, what she's going through in healing. So I feel that your blessings that you guys are going to be healing. Even though we don't have temperance out here, things are destined to get better. So don't worry about the storm. Don't worry. This I'm hearing this too shall pass. Yeah. And don't worry about a thing because everything is going to be all right. So you, just, you need to have, trust and have faith. Trust and have faith faith that everything is going to play out in your favor in fact i want you guys to repeat that affirmation everything is working in my favor everything is aligning in my favor all is well i am whole i am healthy i am healing i am blessed i am receptive i am receptive to miracles i am receptive to healing i am receptive to love a lot of healing here, you guys. So if you've been dealing with something, um, like I said, this could be mental health, emotional, um, your your well-being. You know, this could be spiritual health as well, physical health. It feels like there's a lot of healing coming your way. Some of you guys could be working with Archangel Raphael. Give me one card, please. Just one, please. Thank you. We have Ocean Jasper. Schedule yourself in. Ah, See some self-care, some loving. So you guys need to give yourself a little TLC. Wake up early. I'm hearing you guys need to wake up early in the morning. You guys need to get situated early in the morning. It would be very, um, very good if you guys rise with the sun. Rise with the sun or rise before the sun and, and meditate. When the sun rises, there's something about that. Getting up early, enjoying that moment where it's just peace. It's peaceful. If you wake up extremely early, you're able to hear the birds chirping. It's a different type of peace. And I feel that you guys need to allow yourself to have those moments where it's no technology, just you, just the sun, and your breath, being present with your breathing. Smoky quartz, you guys are letting it go. You guys are releasing a lot. Yeah, you guys, it's a, it's a transformation. A, sh a huge transformation, a huge shift in energy. I love this for you guys. Oh, bless. 
seems. Oh my. Look at what we have. It says, healing the mother line. Healing, ancestral work, mother line, growing up. Oh wow. A lot of you have some maternal healing that you could be doing. Could be with your mother, grandmother, aunt, sister, cousin, but really, this has to do with femininity, okay? The mother, the nurturer, the one that gives life. Sometimes the nurturer and the mother can overgive to the point where they don't have anything to pour back into themselves. So with that self-love card, it's time to schedule yourself in and open your heart. It's time to focus on your healing. Sometimes we get so wrapped up in helping others, we forget to help ourselves. Sometimes we can give advice, but it's hard for us to take our own advice. And I feel that you guys are going to be working with a lot of divine feminine energy. Even if you're masculine energy watching this, I see you connecting with feminine energies to heal. Yeah. You guys are being watched over. You guys are healing and breaking Cutting generational cords. Remember, I, I we had those scissors. You guys are cutting cords. You guys are cutting any curses. You guys are releasing it. You guys have been the chosen one in your bloodline. You guys are moving forward. Creating a new pathway. No more generational curses. Yeah, the child within. Look, inner mother. It actually says inner mother. Innocence gentleness tenderness your inner child and there's a baby here it's mother and child some of you may feel called to connect more with your mother some of you may be receiving a message from your mother or grandmother if they have passed on if they are in you know in the higher realms remember souls never die we just transcend we move, we move on into another dimension or energy we will always be energy so i see you guys connecting with divine feminine energies that are important to you whether they're here in the physical or not i do see that you guys are not alone they're helping you to heal there's a lot of inner child healing mother healing it has to do with the way you love yourself the way you nurture yourself the way you take care of yourself i'm here and tend to yourself What's at the bottom? The crowning. It says initiation, thresholds, birth, rebirth, a seat at the table. The ancestors have made a seat for you at the table. You guys, this is beautiful because you have the rebirth card here. So you have two cards that now are referring to a rebirth. So what's happening is that you're being reborn again. And look, there's another baby. You're embracing your inner child. You're healing. You're overcoming past pains, past hurdles. Things that would have set you back in the past are no longer a setback. They're just a, what is, what is it that's, what's, how does that term go? What was meant to, to harm me was my blessing. It actually made me stronger. I'm also hearing what was a setup, what was a set, setback was a setup for a comeback. So a setback was a come up for was a setup for a comeback a setback was a setup for a comeback a setback was a setup for a comeback it was preparation we have the mother and child here giving birth to a new you birthing your new world this new identity maturity this growth this rebirth you're going through this inner child healing you're doing this maternal healing you're doing this is going to open up a lot of new doorways for you guys because you're receptive, you're an allowance, you're doing the healing work. There's going to be a lot of luck coming through you guys. Seven could be important. The number seven could be important for you guys. This is really beautiful. I'm going to get one. You know what? No, I'm going to use this deck for you guys. Because I feel like we're working with divine feminine um, energies. You could still be a masculine energy and watch this. Let's see. What goddess do we have for this option? Ah, Cirque. I believe that's how you pronounce her name. We have willpower. Look at that. It says, 
My will alone is strong enough to carry me towards my dreams and beyond. This is empowerment. Feeling strong enough, bold enough. All is well. And I, we have this wolf here and we have this tiger here in these two cards. And we have a wolf here and a lioness. So for some reason, I feel like that is worthy of mentioning. A wolf and a... So we have... That's interesting. We have canine and feline energy here. So those are could be animal guides, spirit guides for you guys. We also have generosity. I think this is Elios or Elios. And it says, give and you shall receive. Now it's time to give to yourself is what I'm hearing. Asking shall receive. Giving you shall receive. It's time to receive. It's time to be receptive. It's time to pour back into yourself. One more, Holy Spirit. Relax. What's at the bottom? Dream. So you have relaxed. Delight in, <laughs> delight in powdered gold sunshine. You have the sun. I keep telling you guys, go listen to that song speak. Go actually watch the music video and then come back to the reading and tell me what you think. We have dream. It says, have a cup of tea in the garden and find yourself in a good book. That's what you need to do early morning after you pray and meditate. <laughs> you just need to relax, okay? Take it easy and get one from this deck. This is beautiful. Astral light. Think about that. Bathing in the light. Some of you guys could be receiving light code activations in the sun, sun gazing. The ancient Egyptians used to love to do that. I'm also hearing sun got raw. Golden energy. You know, whenever I think of gold, I think of Jill Scott's song, Living My Life Like It's Golden. You need to put that on. She says, I'm taking back my own freedom. Yeah, listen to the song. Go watch the music video. Astral light and an image of the world and oneness integrates the two, them and you. You're going to see the connection between all things. You're going to see the connection between all things outdoors. Ah, you guys have spent outdoors in the sun. Fresh air, seek wildlife, active adventures, spending time with animals, spending time with the sun, spending time in nature. Outdoors, look at that. Isn't that a beautiful card? It's gorgeous. Yeah. Sunshine. And there's a wolf here. Fresh air, seek wildlife, active adventures. You guys also have boundaries here. Reassess, set, set boundaries, prioritize self-care. Boundaries. I spoke, at that, I spoke about that earlier on my channel. Setting healthy boundaries with yourself and others. It's very important. Very important. And we have the heart with wings. This is going to help you. Okay? So, you guys are... Oh, we have cleanse at the bottom too, you guys. Look. Visualize water. Minimize clutter. Energy healing. This is happening for you. Look, there's another wolf. Cutting the cords is going to help you to cleanse this energy. Whatever this, I'm hearing the remnants, what's left. It's going to help to clear this out. Spending time in the sun is going to help you. Stay hydrated, you guys. Take it easy. Spend time outdoors. As much time outdoors as you can. I know I said that, that was the last one, but I want to get you one more. Yeah. Celebrate the little things in everyday life. See, celebrate the small things, the synchronicities. When you see 111 on a clock, you know, the smell of roses, you know, the sunlight, birds chirping, a good book, good teas. I don't know. You guys just need to connect with things that make you happy. Connect with things that bring you peace. Embrace your inner and outer beauty. I'm also hearing embrace it, the beauty of the world. I'm hearing Beautiful People by Chris Brown. Rose Without Thorns. You have a right to your joy, peace, and sweetness of life. That's exactly what you guys are coming into. And that comes with boundaries as well. 
So I love this for you guys. I see you guys truly tapping in, connecting with a lot of high frequencies. I see you guys doing some cord cutting with Archangel Michael, relaxing, paying attention to your dreams. This could also be how this past on relative, if you have a past on mother or grandmother, this could be how they communicate with you. You guys, like I said earlier, could also feel called to communicate with a, with a loved one, with a mother or grandmother. So there's a lot of blessings when it just comes. I'm, I'm hearing peaceful situations. Look, speak your truth. Soda light. We have the song speak. I see you guys just being in a state of peace and bliss. Harmony. Har harmonious relationships is what I'm hearing. Harmonious connections. You have eucalyptus here. And it actually says cleanse and purify. And see, that's why the rain came in the first place. That's why we had that storm energy. It was only there to illuminate the truth. It was only there to show you what needs to be cleansed. The light came to shine, you know, for it to, I'm hearing for awareness to shine a light on something. Think about that. The sun shines bright. It's illuminated. So something needs to be seen that you still need it to address. This has to do with your inner child. It has to do with feminine healing. I'm hearing once you see things clearly, you'll see the truth. You'll see the meaning behind everything. You'll understand why things had to happen the way they had to happen. Now you have the sunflower with hope. So stay hopeful, you guys. Things are going to be looking up. You will soon understand why everything happened the way it happened. They want you to relax. This card, the sun card in this deck is actually paradise, right? It makes me think of taking a trip. Go on vacation. Happier times. I feel that this is your message. You may need to actually go treat yourself. Go somewhere. Go do something fun. Enjoy the sun. Be happy. I'm hearing embrace nostalgic energy. Do something you've always wanted to do. Or something that you love doing. Okay? So things are looking good for you guys. If you receive this reading, comment below. I claim it. I'm sending you guys so much love. It will be a beautiful energy exchange if you liked and subscribed to this channel. Also, don't forget to check out Rose Forever New York. Sending you love. We're on to option two. Option two. This is going to be beautiful. All right. Let's tap into your energy. Dear God, dear Holy Spirit, please use me as divine channel for the most purest, holy, loving light. For me to give clear guidance, clear, accurate messages to all the beautiful souls who chose option two. What blessings are coming into their life right now? In Jesus' name I pray, amen. I'm hearing as we speak. As I was saying, what blessings are coming into your life right now? I heard as we speak. There are blessings coming into your life as we speak, you guys. No matter what time you're watching this, there's something occurring right now for you behind the scenes. That's why faith is required. Four of Swords. Reassuring Rose. The Four of Swords. Reassuring Rose. Okay. Eight. The Sith Mermaid. The power that creates and sustains you heals you. The power that creates and sustains you heals you. I'm here recharging. Because the Four of Swords is about rest. It's about contemplation. It's about taking that time out to really go within. Sometimes when I see the Four of Swords, it's my nap card. It's my extra sleep card. My meditation card. You know, my prayer card. Because it shows someone going within. And you have the power that creates and sustains you, heals you. Your own power, needing to use your own power to heal you. Your intentions, your words, your thoughts. May it all be aligned to help heal you, to empower you. That's what I'm hearing. Okay. All is well. I'm hearing um, 
you know, one of the movies I mention a lot are, is Weird Science. In that movie, he says, isn't life swell? <laughs> and I'm hearing, no, 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 that, that's from Breakfast Club, another favorite of mine. <laughs> so maybe Weird Science and Breakfast Club are important because I've never get them mixed up and I just got them mixed up right now. So that's strange because Bender says, isn't life swell? Of course, he's being sarcastic when he says it, but I'm hearing that your life is going to be swell. Okay. What's going on here? The lovers. Ah, uh, this makes a lot of sense. Okay. Loving yourself. Okay. Three of Cups. Okay, this is community. This is community. This makes sense why I got the the Breakfast Club. This makes sense why I got weird science. It has to do with coming across your soul tribe. Some of you guys are needing to spend more time with your community. With people that you adore. That, that could be the blessing in itself, especially if you work hard or if you're in school or if you've just been busy. It's like finally you're able to connect with like-minded individuals. You, the people you love, the people you miss. People that make you laugh. And if you're someone who's been trying to call in, someone who's been praying and trying to manifest more soul family, people who are like-minded, people who understand you, I do see that coming for you. We have the world card here. There could also be some traveling could be a trip with the four of swords, which is rest for me. And this card that talks about the power that creates and sustains you, heals you. This could actually be some type of travel, like a vacation, a getaway to relax, to unwind. Maybe a group vacation. Or vacation that you're going to meet someone, you know, someone important. Um, while, while being there, wherever it is you may go. There could be some important people or an important person. That you can meet there. We have the seven of rings for the right reasons. This is definitely investing your time and energy. Because remember, investments aren't always about money. Sometimes investments are, you know, who we spend time with. What do we spend time on? So I see you guys deciding to spend time... With people who bring you joy. Whoa. Option one had that card. So that's the reason why I didn't take it, you guys. I'm going to cleanse the energy of these cards. Mm, 21 breaking down to three. Three and three. Three plus three is six. And we have a six here, which is harmony. Twelve. going Coming right back to twelve, we have a three. So the numbers three and six could be important. I don't know i just heard party of five party of five like someone calling um a group to their table i see you guys spending time with people spending time with not just anyone but the people you adore the most and i see you guys attracting soul tribe it's gonna bring you joy you're not you won't even realize it you're like man i didn't i didn't know that i was in, in such a need to have, you know, my loved ones around me. Or in, in, I didn't know that I needed to have my friends around me. Calm. Yeah, chamomile. That's very nurturing. It's very calming. Peaceful. These people are going to make you feel... When I think of chamomile, I think of like a baby. I think of something that's kind of, you know, soft. You know, um, calming, soothing. You're going to be with people who are soothing to your soul. Shape-shifting. Foxglove. People who adapt with you. I'm hearing, like, almost, almost, it gives me the vibe of, like, a childhood friend. Someone who's been with you every step of the way. Even though you both may have changed over time. It's like you're still together. But I... I see you guys attracting this energy in. So it doesn't matter what your age is. You could be in your 70s watching this. 
and you're going to meet someone or you're going to be spending time with people that are going to feel like I'm hearing feel like honey. It's going to feel like cashmere. It's going to feel, I don't know why they said honey, but it's going to feel comfortable, soothing. It's going to feel luxurious. It's going to feel like a blessing. Like this in itself is a blessing. These people, you know, I didn't realize how much I missed them. or I didn't realize how much I needed this time to just rest and to be with those that I love. What's at the bottom? Primrose, new love. You have the lover's card and you now have primrose with new love. Well, this is beautiful. This is really beautiful. Here to make friends. We have the lovers, the fans, and here to make friends. A lot of people watching you guys. A lot of blessings. People are watching you change and transform before them. And they're in awe. They are in awe. So, you guys, this is very beautiful. They're going to see that you've been changing for the better okay they're gonna see like wow so and so they've they've been doing their healing work you know look at them look at them glow look at them shine and people are gonna be inspired by you they're gonna be so inspired by what, what you've overcome i'm hearing setting the tone in fact you guys choosing to take care of yourself maybe to rest more um, maybe even to go on vacation, doing something nice for yourself could actually end up being a domino effect. You could inspire someone else to say, you know what, I need to do that. I need to take better care of myself. Mm -hmm. We have tiger's eye overcoming your fears. So another blessing, overcoming any fears, overcoming any doubt, any hesitancy. I see you guys becoming more firm with your ideas and your projects. As a right, get later. Ooh, get laser focused. Okay. I just heard later comes love, then comes marriage, then comes a baby in a in a rocking carriage. Um, is that K I S S I N G? Who remembers that when when kids used to sing that? It's like that. It's playful. It's like friends kind of teasing you. Some of you guys are gonna meet someone that it's going. They're gonna make you blush. They're gonna make your heart flutter. And your friends could totally um, end up teasing you by this. Okay, that's for some of you. Yeah. What else? Take action. Get out of your own way. It's time to get out there is what I'm hearing. Know, know the balance between rest and play. And work, work rest, and play. Your community is always going to be key and your rest is going to be key. So know when to rest and know when to spend time with others. Clear the clutter. There could be some energies that are leaving. I'm hearing fears. There's some fears that are leaving because you're getting very, very much focused on what type of energies you want to bring into your life is what I'm hearing. You guys are, are becoming very sure about what it is you want. And you're doing this in, with such grace and elegance. It's just, it's beautiful. Your, your growth, your growth, you guys are growing. Like this is a glow up. Your growth has been so graceful. What you've overcome is, it's, it's almost, it's powerful. I'm hearing enduring. Hmm. Well, blessing is coming to option two, Holy Spirit. Fulfillment. Oh, my. You have the peach. Fulfillment, you guys. This is a blessing. You guys are going to be feeling some type of emotional fulfillment. The truth. Receiving the truth. Understanding the truth about what it is you were needing in the first place. opportunity with the moon card um i'm hearing the moon card here connecting with the moon the moon cycles the ebbs and flow the changes within the season i'm hearing moon things being in sync 
things aligning with the moon. So you guys are going to be aligning with these energies. Focus on rest and celebrating the small and big accomplishments. And know that in divine timing, you're going to meet these people. Because I don't feel like it's just a lover. I feel like it's a soul tribe. And everything's going to align so perfectly. That's what I'm hearing. Of course, life isn't perfect. But I do feel like this, this situation is going to align perfectly for you. This opportunity is going to be open for you at the right time. You just, you're going to be in a state of like, wow, like things are really just happening for me in my life. Like all at once, it could actually be a bit overwhelming is you're going to have so many different fulfillments, like wish fulfillments happening right in front of your face. And you're going to be like, okay, like all of this happening at once, I, you know, just what do I do? Where do I start? I'm getting just an excitement a happiness. I'm hearing so much love here. They're playing that King Cole. Love. Yeah. So much love to give. Mother Rose returning to each other. Compassion, humanity. See? Returning to each other. Compassion, humanity. I feel like this is your soul tribe. Remember, everyone has something to teach and everyone has something to learn. We are nature. Becoming grounded. Embodiment. Living in connection. As they're definitely living in connection with others. You may feel called to take time in nature to rest. The shapeshifter energy here. Gaia, Mother Earth is always changing and transforming. They want you to focus on humanity, focus on compassion. Focus on the truth, living in your truth. Rapture. This card says sensuality, love, devotion, romance, ecstasy, and pleasure. That's the lover's card. That's that new love, that primrose card you have. You guys, it's definitely some, some type of romance in the air. Cupid is playing around. Lightning has struck. The bow has been released. The bow and arrow has been released. It's like I'm hearing them say Cupid's work is done. It's almost like you'll see it just kind of drop. The bow and the arrow just kind of drop because it's like everything's been, everything's been done. I'm seeing an actual vision, a vision, like a visual of Cupid flying in and just dropping what it's done. I'm hearing dropping the bow and arrow after it's done and just kind of like moving away. There's a gift. I know that sounds like such a, like a cartoon, but I'm getting that vibe. Like, it's like, okay, I did my job. So love is coming. Loving, loving, I'm hearing loving environment. Love is here to stay. Are you receptive to the love? Am I not mistaken? If I'm not mistaken, does Black Eyed Peas have a song, um, something about the love? Where is the love? I'm hearing love. Lots of love. Mother Rose, we are nature. This is all Gaia. Rapture. Embracing passion. Embracing, ooh, embracing well. Embracing sensual desires. Romance. This is beautiful. Some of you could be going out on a date soon. This person's going to come out of nowhere. The soul family, the soul family slowly coming together like puzzle pieces. So you guys might feel called to go places, okay? Anytime I'm watching this video, whenever you guys decide to watch it, it feels that you guys might receive offers to go places or you've been thinking about um, going to a certain store, a certain area. It feels that your intuition is trying to guide you somewhere. So that you can meet certain people. Okay. I want to get a goddess card for you. Wow. Option one had this card. I'm going to share it with you just because it came out again. Cirque willpower. 
My will alone is strong enough to carry me towards my dreams and beyond. Okay, so keep that in mind. I see you guys being in your power. A lot of communication here. It's like if you don't know something, someone in your tribe will know. So you're, it could even be that the divine is wanting you to connect with certain people because there's information that they can share with you and information you can share with them. Artemis. That's beautiful. You guys have Artemis. You have get laser focused, right? With Azerite. And now you have focus Artemis and... Look at the greenery, this moss kind of energy. You guys, it's it's spring, it's dewy, it has a dewy feeling to it. It has this like flowers are slowly blooming. It says, I am tenacious and unwavering in my attention. Oh, I sit in my attention. Wow, focus. I am tenacious and unwavering in my intention. You guys, she has a bow and arrow. Artemis has a bow and arrow. And I, I mentioned the bow and arrow. We have a deer here too. So focus. Artemis is a goddess that represents children and animals. She's also a virgin goddess. Very pure. But she also protected herself. When, those, when people wanted to corrupt her, when men wanted her, she knew how to defend herself. There's another baby deer here if you guys can see that. I'm hearing Bambi. Yeah, it's like this innocence. You're going to receive some type of truth, something you've been waiting to hear about. You're going to be overcoming your fears, receiving fulfillment. You guys are growing. You're glowing. Keep in mind that healing always takes time. Be gentle with yourself. You guys are becoming more laser focused on what it is you want to create, what you want to bring to life. Your manifestation skills are going to be leveling up. You could have some type of offer to travel. Or you decide you may decide to go on vacation to rest. And you're gonna meet some people very soon that are gonna be important to your journey and your path. Isis Aset Awakening. It says, My journey is an evolution of many lessons and renewals. I am expanding. That's exactly what you guys are doing. My journey is an evolution. My journey is an evolution of many lessons and renewals. I am expanding. This is very beautiful. You guys, this change, this growth, expansion. surprises look at that venture down the rabbit hole i'm telling you guys go on adventure with the world card here the four of swords go on a, a nice vacation if you can even if you have to do a staycation do that you just need to see something different i see a lot of spiritual growth for you guys Discover. Look at the early dew drops. See, dew, dew, moss, it's dewy. I just said that. It says discover. Look at the early dew drops before they disappear with the morning sun. It's wild because you have one card that option, well, two cards actually that option two had. Okay? Well, not option two. You are option two. Option one had. And I told them that they may feel called to rise with the sun or to wake up early before the sun rises. And you guys are definitely the option that arises before the sun. And the reason why is because I mentioned this moss kind of dewy energy here in these two cards, right? Look at, look at the background of these two cards. Well, more of the goddess card, you get what I'm saying? Look at the crystal different colors look at this card right and then you have discover look at their early dew drops before they disappear with the morning sun that's important you waking up before the sun to meditate and pray 
to set yourself up early and to rest early is going to help you getting on a schedule. Those are blessings. So focus. You guys are going to be extremely focused on what it is you want. And it will manifest. I'm hearing spread your wings and fly. That's what I'm, I keep hearing. Spread your wings and fly. You're, you're growing your wings. You're, you're receiving your wings. And that's why they're saying overcome these fears. It's time. They no longer serve you. That form of thinking, that way of thinking doesn't serve you. It's time to move forward. You're, you, you've reached this awakening. It's time to be focused on what it is you want now in life because it can easily manifest for you. Things are working in your favor is what I'm hearing. Blessings are occurring naturally for you. Surprises. Venture down the rabbit hole. You never know you're going to find and discover. The surprise. Venture down the rabbit hole and discover. It's the same. Look at the early dew drops before they disappear with the morning sun. Discernment. Okay. Get centered. Honest reflection. Body knowing. Being truthful with yourself. Discern. Your dreams. So paying attention to your dreams is important. You guys also have outdoors. Option one had outdoors. Fresh air, especially the air before the sun rises, that energy, the aroma is what I'm hearing, that freshness. Seek wildlife, active adventures, fresh air. Goes right along with discover. Okay. Express. Wildly create. Unbottled concerns. Articulate truthfully. Speaking your truth. Expressing yourself the way you see fit. Overcoming your fears to speak up. Some of you guys may be wanting to speak up. Maybe to say something that's on your mind or your heart. Maybe you've been wanting to say something to someone. Or you've just been wanting to share your gifts more. I'm hearing that this is going to happen for you. It's going to play out for you. Don't worry. Just take those steps. When you feel guided to, take those steps forward. Okay, let's see what else. What blessings are coming to these beautiful souls? Holy Spirit. Whoa. It's okay to do that thing you've been wanting to do. Wow. So whatever it is that you've been wanting to do, they're saying go for it. Go for it. It could work out for you. Look, dare to dream. Oh, that's so beautiful, you guys. It's okay to do that thing you've been wanting to do. Dare to dream. It's time to go big or go home. That's why I just heard. Go big or go home. It's time to dream big. There's a surprise awaiting for you. Yeah, awaiting you. I'm hearing there's a surprise waiting for you. And they said a surprise awaiting you. So go on this inner discovery. See what shows up for you. See what comes up for you. Just so many blessings ahead for you guys. I'm hearing the gift of communication, like a harmonious communication. Being able to speak your truth in a peaceful way. Yet in a way that feels comfortable and soothing for you. Wish fulfillment. Remaining calm. There's a glow up, some type of shift transformation within yourself. You're overcoming fears. You're discovering who you truly are. The things you like, the things you don't like. I'm hearing self-discovery. You're staying focused on the different tasks that you have at hand, different goals. I'm hearing getting things done. Getting things done. Getting things done. I am tenacious and unwavering in my intention. Setting the intention and getting things done. Blessings, opportunities come your way. You guys have a lot of different blessings. Just so many. So family. A lover. This is beautiful, you guys. It's going to feel like a wish fulfillment. You're going to feel like, man, finally. Finally, I have my tribe. Finally, I have my person. This feels good. I know that I'm not alone. I know that we're all kind of going through the same thing. That's the vibe I'm getting. You're never going to feel alone. Some of you could even be getting a fur baby. Some of you guys could be getting a pet. It doesn't have to be a fur baby, but you, some of you could be getting a pet. Okay, so that's what I have for you, beautiful souls. This is 
This is lovely. If you like this reading, please feel free to like and subscribe. It will be a beautiful energy exchange as well as you guys commenting, you know, below. Let me know what kind of readings would you like to see on this channel? How did this reading resonate? And also, please feel free to check out Rose Forever New York. I have a discount linked in the bio. Um, this, this is a beautiful reading, you guys. This is a beautiful reading. Tend to your, your garden, your spiritual garden, as Janet Jackson says. Take care of yourself. Love yourself and get focused on what it is you want to bring to life. What do you want to manifest? It can happen. So stay focused on your dreams. Stay focused on your dreams. Because you will have some type of fulfillment very soon when it comes to a certain dream or wish that you have. Stay calm, cool, and collected. They're saying cool as a cucumber. Things are going to work out for you in divine timing and you're going to meet like-minded souls. And they're, they're showing me a vision of someone winking. So it's like a wink from the universe. Things are going to look at look up for you. And they're saying it's okay for you to take that vacation. It's okay for you to do something for yourself. Make sure you're resting and taking it easy. This is how you're going to receive more ideas. This is how you're going to receive more creative visions. This is how you're going to receive clarity. So make sure you're resting as well, okay? Rest and fun. And they're playing Celebrate by Madonna. Okay, if we took a holiday, took some time to get away, just one day out of life, it would be so nice. I'm hearing Escapade by Janet Jackson as well. So check those songs out and see how they fit with your reading. Sending you love. Have a good one.